Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna try to get through this. For your 28th birthday, I took one of many plane rides to go see you in Raleigh. I met an older man on this trip that made a lasting impression on me. <laughs> this man spoke to me about his wife, who had passed away a number of years before, and he described her in such a way that it touched my soul. His love for her was and still is so deep, so real and unconditional. I couldn't help but to think about you and what you meant to me. In that moment, I knew that you were the one for me. If there's one thing that I have learned from the two of them, is that they truly, truly love each other. It just never quite worked out. I always knew that she was the one and that she would always be that one who got away unless I really pursued her. We always kind of had a connection, like the timing was never right. The timing was always kind of against us. But everyone knows that the best marriages are between two best friends. And so as I started to grow up with Dan, I started to really wonder what Dan's marriage was going to look like. And what I struggled with the most was how he was going to find someone that he wanted to be best friends with more than me. <laughs> but I think now uh, it's all starting to make sense a little bit. But I didn't know you. It'll be open. You can't make me cry too much. <laughs> I didn't know you. He's going to be happy. <laughs> I, I hope so. <laughs> I should have went first. <laughs> Growing up, you were my little sister's best friend. You came on family vacations with us, slept over with Shannon. You became close to the family. For us, it wasn't necessarily love at first start, or first sight. This, I've already started off terribly. <laughs> I knew in my heart that you were going to be a very special person. Little did I know how special that was going to be. seventh grade and I don't know I thought he was really cute and he was funny and was drawn to my friend's older brother. We did date very briefly in college and again timing is on our sides. We always kind of stayed in contact we never really you know lost contact. I think I always knew that we had this special connection I was just kind of afraid to explore it. So fast. She came down to Tampa, she was in school, and we reconnected, went out and had dinner. It had been probably five or six years since I had seen him. It's almost like I had just seen him the week before. It wasn't awkward at all, we just kind of hit it off. <laughs> I love you because you make me a better me. You've helped me grow and become a person that is more patient and more understanding. Even though I have plenty of room to improve, any progress that I make, you make it seem monumental, no matter how small. Whether personal or professional, you constantly strive to do better, and you drive me to do better as well. I love you because of your eyes, your dark, beautiful eyes. Even when you're rolling them at me when I'm doing something <laughs> ridiculous. And I love you most importantly because of how special you make me feel. And I really knew things had gotten serious between them when they started calling each other babe. <laughs> Danny, over and over again, has shown why he is the man that Erica is meant to spend her life with. He's very calm, patient, and kind, and has an incredible sense of adventure. But most of all, the 100% commitment and love that you see when he looks at her is, is so present when you see them together. I'm not at all worried about losing my best friend. I know that when I got married, Dan saw it as adding one to our circle, and today we just evened our numbers up to four. I can look at you guys and I know that my world is a better place with you two together. Started talking again and things started getting a little more serious. It didn't take very long. Like a couple weeks after we started dating, I knew that he was gonna be the one I was gonna marry. 
I'm really, really lucky guy to have found her. And Erica is the perfect girl for me. She is just the most I could ever ask for and all I could ever want. So. I now pronounce you husband and wife. What? You may now kiss the bride. I love you because you pushed me to the end of my comfort zone and then some. <laughs> You've pushed me to climb mountains and dive in oceans, and I can't wait to conquer the rest of life's adventures with you. I promise to grow with you and learn with you, to make new goals together year after year, and to never forget the strength of our foundation and the unique love that we share. Bad at this. Uh, what was your question? So call candid shot. <laughs> Mistis, Mister. Why are you scooping your hands? Like that? Oh, it's, it's like that, your it's that women. <laughs> Put my garter on, woman. Did uh, Ryan get the vest? I like how we're talking about this. Uh, babe, I love you. <laughs> okay, we made it past that with no tears. We're doing all right. It oh, oh one job. <laughs> It's all good. Just roll with it, like I said. That was rough. Didn't even shed a tear. You're too nervous. Uh, yeah, no, I was, I was done for. <laughs>